Hi there. This is our wind paddle troubleshooting video and in this video clip we're going to give you all of our top tips and advice on how to use your wind paddle successfully. We've already shot videos on how to fold your sail, how to attach it to the deck of your kayak, how to stow it in the deck rigging, deploy it and use it on the water. But in this video clip we're going to condense all of that together and give you our top tips on how to wind paddle. Okay, so first of all we're going to look at attaching your sail to your kayak. Our top tip here is to have the sail fully open when you're attaching it to your kayak and this will guarantee that none of the rigging of the wind paddle will get tangled with your deck rigging. So we have our wind paddle here attached onto the deck of our kayak. Our next top tip is to take the sail sheets and clip them onto your buoyancy jacket. This is a very good thing to do because it will keep the sail sheets out of the way during the fold so that when you deploy the sail later on you can guarantee a good clean deploy deployment of your sail. Okay, now we're going to look at folding your sail. There are two methods of folding your sail, the chin to wind fold and the butterfly fold. So first of all we'll look at the chin to wind fold. With the chin to wind fold you're folding the sail towards the body and we use a thumbs down grip. So we flatten the batten and chin to wind. Some advice on your chin to wind fold. Some people find it difficult to get the thumbs down grip on the adventure sail so we would advise that you use the cruiser grip. So check out the cruiser video for the cruiser grip, but basically it goes like this. Thumbs on the outside edge of the batten and flatten the batten. Grip the sail with the elbows. Change to the thumbs down grip and chin to win. Alternatively you can use the butterfly fold. Butterfly fold is very popular, very simple to do. With the butterfly fold, you're folding the sail away from the body. You're using a palms up grip. Flatten the batten and fold the sail away from the body. Okay, another top tip of advice when you're folding your sail onto your deck is always make sure the draw cord is nice and tight. So we'll check the draw cord is nice and tight. It's very important to do this so that when you deploy your sail, if the winds are strong, the sail is not going to move around on the deck of the boat and it's a very good thing to do. So we're going to fold our sail. We're going to stow it under the deck rigging. and we get into our kayak. Okay, we're going to imagine we're out on the water paddling. Our top tip of advice here for deploying your sail is always make sure the kayak is pointing downwind before you deploy your sail. So check it's downwind. Place the paddle underneath your sail sheets. Tease the sail out just a little bit. Check it's downwind again. And lift the sail sheets upwards. You'll have a nice clean deployment of your sail. If you don't have a rudder system, it's very easy to use the wind paddle and still hold on to your paddle for steerage. And we have our sail sheets attached to our carabiner here. 
so we can do hands-free wind paddling. Okay, so without making any adjustment to our sail or adjusting the trim of the sail in any way, we can downwind paddle within a 90 degree envelope of the wind to the back of the kayak. So I can steer to the right and have the wind coming over my right shoulder at 45 degrees. I can steer to the left and have the wind coming over my left shoulder at 45 degrees and not make any adjustments to my sail. If I move outside that 90 degree envelope and I notice the wind paddle is going to collapse, I can stop the collapse with the leading blade and use the trailing blade to steer the boat back downwind so that the sail fills again. If I want to reach with my sail and have the wind coming across the side of the kayak, I'm going to need to adjust the draw cord. So we're going to loosen the draw cord. Always top tip, tip of advice here, hold on tightly to the sail sheets. Draw cord is loosened. A good piece of advice here if you want to allow the sail to move across the deck is you can just simply lift the edge of the sail up like this and then bring the sail across. We now have the sail on the leeward side of the kayak. If you don't have a rudder system you're going to need to be able to hold the sail sheets nice and high and you do that by taking your leading paddling hand and grip the sail sheets at the same time your trailing blade will be in the water, stopping the kayak from weather cocking into the wind. In this position, I can reach at 90 degrees to the wind. If you want to come back downwind, you just simply bring the sail across to the deck of the kayak again, and steer the kayak back downwind, and now you're downwind sailing again. It's a good idea at this point to tighten up the draw cord again, and you're now downwind sailing. If you have a rudder system, it's simple to wind paddle. Make sure you have a paddle leash attached to your paddle. This will stop the paddle falling into the water and getting lost whilst you're wind paddling. You can disconnect your wind sheets from your carabiner and very simply just hold on to the wind sheets. So you can wind paddle again with your 90 degree envelope behind you using your rudder to steer the kayak. If you want to reach with the wind paddle sail using a rudder system, same thing as with the paddle, you loosen the draw cord. Move the sail to the leeward side of the kayak. Hold the sail sheets up nice and high. And in this position here, I am now reaching with the wind coming at 90 degrees to the kayak and I'm steering my kayak with my rudder, keeping it on course and stopping it from weather cocking into the wind. When you want to come back downwind, just simply move the sail across to the deck of the boat again, tighten the draw cord. And you are now downwind sailing again. Okay, it's a very good idea to always hold tight onto your sail sheets when you're wind paddling. If for some reason your sail does drop into the water, just bring the sail nice and gently over to the side of the boat, empty the water out of the sail, lift the sail back onto the deck, clip your sail sheets back onto your carabiner and fold the sail. We would advise at this point just to stow the sail. Take your paddle, bring it back above the sail sheets. Reassess the situation. If you want to go wind paddling again, Make sure your kayak is pointing downwind by using the rudder or your paddle to steer it downwind. 
place your paddle underneath your sail sheets, tease your sail out just a small bit, check it's downwind again and then deploy your sail. When it's time to stop wind paddling, you just simply fold your sail, get hold tightly of the sail sheets and bring the top of the sail towards you. Choose your folding technique. So if you're going to do your chin to win, use the thumbs down grip. Alternatively, you can do your butterfly fold. Stow the sail under the deck rigging. Bring your paddle back over the top of your sail sheets and you're ready to paddle again. In our next video clip, we're gonna be on the water showing you how to use your wind paddle with your paddle or with a rudder system. So we'll see you then.